On Friday night, the Hazleton area football team had their first home game of the season, and it was a monumental night for Hazleton area football. As prior to kickoff, there was a monument dedication to Bob Tucker. Tucker, who played high school football for the Mountaineers of Hazleton High School in the early 1960s, went on to play tight end in the NFL for the New York Giants and the Minnesota Vikings. Tucker, who is still a resident of Hazleton, was humbled by the ceremony as it brought back memories from his playing days with Hazleton High. Well, it means everything it should mean and even more. I mean, this place brings back a lot of memories, a lot of good times with my former teammates, coaches. Um, I just had a great time. And, you know, this night is very special. I mean, it has to do with my professional career, but I remember this place very well. Uh, the field's not muddy anymore. They have the nice grass down. Uh, they changed press boxes, but you know, we have a nice field house now. But uh, it just brings back memories of those days, and that's, uh, that's what I see in my mind, all the guys I played with. For members of the Hazleton community, they believe that the monument that will stay at Harmon Geist Memorial Field is well-deserved, and they hope that it will be used to inspire future players. This is big for Hazleton because this Hazleton boy does big in the NFL for two teams. You know, he started his career right here at Harmon Guy Stadium uh, for the Mountaineers. And uh, it's something that's been in my, on my mind for a while, and it finally came to be, and tonight it's going to be great. Oh, absolutely well-deserved. You know, I mean, he's the only player that ever played. We've had other players that played a couple games or they didn't even actually play a game, but they made the team temporarily. But he's been there for 11, year, 11 years. From, so he had an outstanding career. And I think I, I can't imagine in my lifetime I'll ever see anybody else playing in the pros. We're hoping that some of the young people get to understand who Bob Tucker is uh, and his legacy here. This is a guy that, just like them, played at Harmon Geist, plays high school football here. And I don't think anybody, when he was playing high school football, would have told you he was going to go on to be an NFL star. And it shows you what a lot of hard work and dedication could do. So we're hoping they see that and they say, you know what, maybe I want to be the next Bob Tucker. Ron Marchetti, who is well known on SSP TV for his sports knowledge, has several Bob Tucker memorabilia items, and he remembers just how great Tucker was in the NFL. He set a record that stood for a long time for tight ends. You know, and overall, I think in the last, we talked about him last week, and I think I said 6,000 yards, but he had 16,000 yards, 28 touchdowns. He had a great, great career for the Giants and for uh, the uh, Vikings, number 38, was everyone would always look for number 38. You know, tight ends, he's, he's, he, tight ends never caught that many passes until he came along. That record that Marchetti was talking about was when Tucker led the NFC in catches, as Tucker was the first tight end in history to ever accomplish that feat. Legendary Vikings quarterback Fran Tarkington once referred to Tucker as the greatest tight end that he ever threw to. Obviously, Bob Tucker will be remembered for being a good NFL tight end. But as it turns out, he wasn't always a tight end. He played his high school football right here at Harmon Geist Memorial Field. And when he played, he was a center and defensive tackle. I played so much football as a young kid, you know, with Sandlot. They're just my buddies. Uh, you know, we didn't have video games back then and that type thing. So everybody collected at the playground or wherever, wherever field. In fact, we used to take this field and somehow climb over the fence. And if you didn't get caught, you can come in here and play a game with the kids around the uh, uh, around the town. But no, I was not a uh, visible player at that time. I was just an uh, inconspicuous guy, like every other player on the team. And you had a job, and you got beat up, and you were trying to beat the other guy up. But no, when I went to Bloomsburg, I changed to tight end. And uh, when I did play around in the Sandlot, uh, one thing I liked to do was catch the ball and run with it. And so when I went to Bloomsburg, I went as a center, and uh, we had a whole bunch of centers, and they asked me if I could uh, play a different position, and I said, sure, I could play tight end. And that's where I started playing tight end. Good thing Tucker went to Bloomsburg and switched to being a tight end because that change led to a life-changing experience. That experience, of course, was being able to say that he was one of the lucky men that made it to the NFL. And while Tucker lived the dream that many wished they could have had, he never forgot his hometown. I was living in New York and living in Minnesota as well, uh, but these are like foreign territories to me. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed all the fun things to do around there, but then I was married and started to have a family. And I knew that as much fun as I had growing up in this community, that uh, this is where I would like to have my children grow up as well. 
So that was the impetus behind it. Uh, it was a great community, you can walk the streets, um, unlock the doors, whatever. And this is what I enjoyed, and this is what I wanted to be part of. So I was in the New York environment, and obviously you couldn't do that in congestion or whatever. So I just wanted to get myself into the smaller town again. You know, it speaks volumes that this is a man that is a Hazleton native in the truest sense of the word, grew up here, lived here, and all except for those months when he was playing pro football, he's always lived in Hazleton, came back here. This is where he raised his family. His children went to the public school system here. He truly is when you call a native son, and we're very, very proud of him. While the monument dedication on Friday night is an experience that Tucker will never forget, the thing that made it most special to him was the fact that he got to experience it with his family. Well, that makes everything just a little extra special. I have my wife, my children, uh, grandchildren, um, in-laws. I mean, it's just fine. I like to have everybody come and have a good time and help join with me in, in this celebration, this commemoratory plaque, which is great. The Hazleton area loves their sports. They especially love seeing a local athlete rise to the top. Bob Tucker did just that. He is a legend to this area, and with this great monument, Tucker is now a legend that will never be forgotten. Reporting for SSP-TV News, I'm John Eric Poli.